thanks everyone. Uh, really nice. Uh, thank you so much for those that um, have been invited and been able to make it today. I really take, really get that it takes something to, to actually be here. Um, and then really amazing to hear everyone kind of share and really inspiring to kind of have worked with you over the last few weeks and see, see where you're at. Um, so we just have a short exercise now just to really make sure that um, a, a guests that have been invited um, kind of get value from the session and have something that you can take away personally uh, for you, but also something that hopefully kind of connects participants and, and guests together as, as well. Um, so this is a, um, a kind of notebook exercise. So great if you've got a pen and paper if possible, but if not, you can use your phones. Um, yeah. Great. So. Um, uh, so first of all, so pick an area of your life that's important to you. So um, either something that's important to you, something that you're committed to, or perhaps looking the other way, perhaps something that's maybe missing in your life at the moment, something that's important that you're not, you, you don't feel as though you're able to kind of work towards. Um, could also be an area that you might be feeling stuck or stopped in. Um, so for example, family, career, business, hobby, relationships, um, me time, time for yourself. Um, time for your learning and development, um, volunteering, community interests, your friends, health, well-being, physical exercise, um, spirituality, contribution. Often what happens is we kind of get kind of tunnel visioned and focused on one thing at the expense of other, often career, we kind of get so obsessed with focusing on work, 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 which is what I did most of my life. And some of the other things then kind of drop by the wayside. Um, but Pick an area of life that's important to you that you'd like to work on today in, the, in this conversation. And just write, just write it down. Has everyone got a kind of an area of life they'd like to, to focus on? Anyone stuck or stop? No, okay. Great. So um, have a think about someone that you really admire, um, someone that inspires you, could be a, a role model, someone you know locally, friend, family member, um, could go further afield, celebrity, expert in your field, but pick someone that um, really inspires you or someone that admires you, that, um, that you admire, that that have kind of done something great in that area or someone that kind of um, is an exemplar of who you'd like to be in that area of life. Uh, and kind of write their name down first of all. And yeah, could, could be anyone, friend, family, um, celebrity, expert. And just have a think about why it is you admire them. So what is it about them that you really admire? What are the, some of the qualities, characteristics, traits why is it you, that you admire that person? Okay, um, and then also have a look at um, either sort of characteristics, qualities that also inspire you. Perhaps choose any other words that inspire you. Um, think about ways of being as well. So um, uh, qualities, characteristic traits, um, things that you'd like to kind of embody for yourself in those areas and, and take a moment to kind of add in, add in any other kind of key words. It could be being happy, confident, inspiring, proactive, um, self-confident, uh, whatever it is for you, add, add just a few um, few words that kind of inspire you personally. Um, uh, yeah, so you've kind of um, had a look at someone that kind of inspires you, kind of role model, and you've noticed the sort of qualities, characteristics, traits that inspire you about, uh, inspire you about them. But also just have a think about any, any other kind of words or other, any other ways of being that inspire you personally that you'd like to add to that, that list. So next step is come back to the, um, so step one, so the area of life that you picked. So um, a sort of area, domain of life that's important to you, something that you're committed to, something that you're working towards. And now pick a uh, one bold action that kind of moves you forward in some way in that area. Um, but if you can think about what your role model, what the person inspires you, what would they do? Think about one kind of bold action that kind of moves you forward in some way in that area. And, Great if it kind of also challenges you and gets you a little bit outside of your comfort zone, um, but pick one action um, that kind of moves you forward in some way in that area. Um, you kind of want to make it something ideally you can do in the next 24 hours too. Uh, choosing a kind of bold action that kind of moves you forward in that, in that area of life in some way, and it's something you can sort of take within the next 24 hours. 
Um, if you've, the other way of looking at it is you've got, if you've got that bigger vision of what you want to work towards, what would be like if you broke it down? What would be like a small step that you could take within the next 24 hours that moves you, moves you towards that in some way? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring us back into the, the group. Just from the conversation you had, um, would anyone like to share anything yet? Uh, Antoinette? Yeah. Um, my mum was walking daily in nature. I really love nature coach. Mm-hmm. She can't sleep on me. Um, daily mm-hmm. walks, so that was my one. And I was thinking I could schedule regular walks. Great, perfect. Okay, great. Um, any, anyone else? Yeah, yeah. Great, great. My one is like running. I used to be an athlete many years ago, and life took over. Oh. And I had to run for ages. <coughs> so I want to get back into running. Okay, great. My goal is one day to do a mountain. Okay, great, yeah. And then, yeah, bring yourself back to that kind of that way of being. So who was it that inspired you? What was, who was the... Well, I do, I, I walk park runs, but there's this lady I know for years. She's nearly 80. Okay, yeah. And she whizzed around and she's done two marathons and everything. Okay, okay. So I can't be like Penny. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, great. Okay, uh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And it's, um, it's uh, yeah, great. Thanks, thanks. Uh, what we've kind of shared is that um, it's it really kind of at the heart of our work. So it's the kind of the, the, the being, looking at that kind of way of being, the, the way of being that inspires you, what's important to you, and then take taking the action, even when you don't quite feel like it, just kind of doing it anyway and doing doing the run and the creative act is in the doing it's when you take the action that's when you have that, that experience of of being as young as being a runner back in your youth and so that that will be there definitely yeah um thanks so much um would any other sort of uh, guests just like to uh, oh, uh, 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 participants as well uh, um be great just to just hear from from some of the guests here just what you're taking oh, resonated yeah. with is it actually yeah Just that taking a little bit of time out each day to do mm. something nice for oneself. So I've been a workaholic for the last 20 years, mm. and I, you know, never get that balance right. Yeah. My family life suffers, personal life suffers. Mm. But I keep going with this work mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, no, it's, it's really good. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, um, yeah, no, it's good. Um, yeah, go for it. Yeah, and, and, and I, I've always liked um, Clive Stafford Smith, the Death Row Lord lawyer. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. He, because he always sticks up for the underdog. Okay. And I just, I just love him for that. And um, so I just said that I would contact a friend who, at the moment, I think is, I felt she needed a bit of support, and I'd sort of not, not done it so. Talk about underdogs and looking after looking out for people. Okay, so perfect. Yeah, perfect. Okay, great. Thanks. Um, can we sort of acknowledge people as well for for the uh, taking them? That's really really good. Um, 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 open to the floor. Would any other participants, uh, any other guests here, just like to share um, one or two things they got out of that exercise, or one or two things they take? Uh, yeah, please. Uh, it's really embarrassing actually. Um, so I. It's like I I feel like I do big things. Like I just I just booked to to go to Everest Base Camp. Oh wow! Okay. Those, right? And I I look at and I know it's difficult because you go very high, etc. I look at that and I go, I know I can do it. I, I'm just I'm just going to haul my ass up that mountain. I don't care what happens, even if I die, I'm going to do it. <laughs> but like I've been single for fifteen years, and just I was saying to Nicole like to to have a date. It's just like <laughs> horrific. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And it was actually um, 
uh, from a business, women in business group mentoring, and um, a lady said she met her very nice husband through Tinder. And so I was like, well, okay, I'll just join Tinder now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. I, I never do the, this is horrific for you, so I can see. Oh, oh, yeah. oh no, 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 no. It's like, I never do the next step, no. So okay. it's like a message, a message, and then I go, that's enough for me. That's, yeah. You know, hi, yeah. hi, where do you live? Is it over? That's enough. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, so like, what if you said, do you want to have a Zoom date? Because I don't want to meet them in Okay, person. yeah, that's been, it's been quite popular, actually, over there, yeah. Because yeah. then, it's, it's, I think it's easier, isn't it? Like, I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do it in person. I just don't have the confidence to do that. I thought, what if, like, in 24 hours, I committed, even if I didn't like the person, just to go, do you want a 10 minute Zoom chat? Perfect, yeah, perfect, yeah, great, great, yeah, it's uh, great. Yeah, great, yeah. And I was going to suggest um, something I've discovered this lockdown is take yourself on a date. I've been taking myself on a date for 16 years. <laughs> Connection with another person in a more intimate way is mm. just mm. terrifying. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's Nicole, set up. Yeah. We're okay for time. Are we okay for time? Yeah. 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 Um, okay, yeah, great. I'll just do the acknowledgement that exercise. Yeah. Uh, thank you for that. It's, yeah, really, really inspiring. Yeah. And, um, and also maybe look at um, with your doing the climbing uh, work, how can you kind of connect with other people in this with similar interests and, and do oh, dating in that nice. area? That's often where you meet like-minded people that you've got an affinity with. And yeah, but, but yeah, really great as a, as a first step, really, really, really great for taking that on, yeah. Um, great. Um, any other uh, participants here like to share? And if not, uh, oh, oh, time for myself. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, I'm struggling with that. Okay, yeah, oh, so, so me, before. yeah. Yeah. But because um, my circles are hot plates are ready yet. That's why I always go to the shop for a couple of hours. Like that. But, <laughs> but um because my circumstances have changed. I have to work around, you know, my children and that and then being in school. So what one of my plans is I'm gonna look on the um internet for a train ticket and I'm just gonna go south end tomorrow. Okay, great, okay. Uh, great. And, talking about it and not doing it. Perfect, and yeah. Not, I just need to breathe. I feel like I'm suffocating, and that will do so much for me. Perfect. Yeah. Person, so yeah. Yeah. Make sure it's <laughs> great. 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 Thanks so much, everyone. So, um, uh, uh, finally, I um, just want to sort of take you through another um, exercise to practice um, uh, practice acknowledgement. So, this is something we don't normally do as human beings, and um, it's not something we you usually sort of bring into our lives or share with others. And also, if you have a look on social media as well, it's, it's fantastic social media and technology is fantastic. But if you see, you scroll through people's LinkedIn or, or social media, it's, it's very much around sort of self-promotion often and often not much kind of gratitude and acknowledgement going on. So, OK, so Ken, I'd like to acknowledge you for running at eight kilometres a day for uh, 200 324. Three, 324 days uh, consecutively or, or just, yeah. Uh, I'd like to be acknowledged for leading this course for four months and uh, putting a lot of work in personally and also working to making it, making it work for people. And, uh, and taking on your personal fitness. Um, uh, do you get that? Yes, I get that. <laughs> Great. Uh, uh, um, and is there anything else you'd like to be acknowledged for? Um, yeah, coming here, leading this, you know, starting the session. Great, so thanks Ken. I'd like to acknowledge you for coming here, starting and leading the session. Um, is there anything else you'd like to be acknowledged for? Great, uh, so Ken, I'd like to acknowledge you for being a hugely inspirational leader um, and community leader who's kind of 
got his fingers in many different pies and is connected with a, a whole range of different organizations and partners and, and takes you someone who takes on um, the business as well as uh, work and community and makes a massive difference to um, uh, Islington and, and, and London more widely um, and for um, going on some amazing travels around the world and taking people with you and growing your exotic travels uh, business and seeing some amazing adventures happen all around the world as we come out of lockdown um, and continuing to make a massive difference to people through your coaching and, and leadership um, and just being an amazing person. Um, do, do you get that, Ken? You could say that again, but no. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, Great, uh, great. Um, so that, that's, that's the um, exercise. So um, ask the person what would they like to be acknowledged for, um, listen to what they say and acknowledge them for, for that. Uh, keep asking them until they've they said everything they want to say and they're acknowledged, um, they, they, they feel acknowledged for the things that are important to them. And then acknowledge them for a future that you see in them. Thanks everyone. So I'm gonna hand back to Ken who's gonna just complete the session.